People might have told you that hard work is how you become great, but you're tired. You don't feel like doing it. You're exhausted. But what have you been doing all day? You've been playing video games and watching TikTok? Wait, but how are you tired? There's a crisis going on right now, mainly in the Western countries. This is the crisis of comfort and pleasure. Most people in the world today have succumbed to pleasures of the Western world. But it's mostly like the Western countries have. The Western countries are succumbing to the pleasures of the world that, like, pleasures you know, okay, think about it like this, look at the men in Russia, do they look demotivated and tired? No, bro, they're chopping logs and building their hut in the harsh weather, they're too busy to be tired, it's the western world that has succumbed to this pleasure, this comfort, but if you're wondering, well, Max, why is this such a big problem? It is because men are killing themselves over it. They have just lost what has made them men. In this video, I'm going to explain how to become motivated and hardworking. But you just have to believe me here. I may be young, but I know what I'm talking about. Make sure you follow along with this video in order. Don't skip around and like... Don't skip around and look at the interesting parts, because I put this video in order for a reason. I put it in order specifically so you would be able to implement it in order. Pause the video right now. And go get something that you can take notes on. Because that is how you actually be able to implement this in the real world. This brings us to the first topic, mental health. If you watched my videos in almost every, if not every one, I think every one of them, I have talked something about mental health. This is because mental health is the most important part of your life. If you have poor mental health, you have poor everything. The brain controls all parts of your body. So think about it. If you didn't have your brain, you wouldn't be functioning. You wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be alive. Literally, you wouldn't. For some people, this is actually true. They have lost control over- The brain is still there, but they have lost control over their brain. Think about that. That is crazy. And then they kill themselves because they have poor, you know, brain health, mental health. If you improve your mental health, you improve everything else along with it. Mental health is the reason you have low motivation to do anything. If, let alone hard work, like, if you have poor mental health, you can barely do, like, and you can barely do something easy. Doing something easy is hard. Let alone, like, hard work. Imagine, bro. Imagine. It's crazy. It's crazy. Some people don't even have motivation to pick up their phone and start scrolling. Like, they, they are, they really want to pick up their phone and, you know, start scrolling on their TikTok and stuff, but they are literally too tired, too mental health drained to literally do the actions of, like, physically picking up your phone and, like, moving your finger enough to start scrolling. This is a crisis. If you look at the suicide rates from the 1800s, it's, like, very low. If you look at the suicide rates from the 1800s, it's very low. There's, like, it's practically non-existent. Now look at the suicide rates in the 2000s. It's incredibly high. It's all the way up here. It's all the way up here. All the way up here. If you don't believe me that's on you but for those who are actually engaged into this like wow this is a problem keep watching if you want to improve your mental health go watch my video from a few days ago now i think it was it might have been a week ago around 
I think this really will improve your motivation to, like, already buy a ton, already improve your motivation like, to do hard things by a ton. You'll become way more excited to do hard things, but if you want that extra push to become, the like, the greatest you can be in the realm of motivation and work, keep watching. Hopefully you've watched the mental health video of mine and set the practices into motion. Now we want to talk about discipline. Discipline is when you do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Discipline is kind of like the baseline of motivation. You want to develop discipline first, because if you put all these other practices into play, you won't have that ground to stand on. Think of it like this. Everything else in this video is going to be, like, the earth. It's going to be the, the, it's going to be like the houses you live in. But then, discipline is like, like gravity. It's gra It's like discipline is the stuff that's keeping everything on the ground. It it is the ground. It's like the earth and like it's magnetic force. And then like all everything else is like the houses, the the people and stuff. Discipline is really what grounds and starts your journey through self improvement. So how do you become disciplined? You do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. This means whenever you don't feel like doing something, do it anyway. Use that, feel use that feeling of not wanting to do something. And literally, like, when you don't want to, when you don't feel like doing something, like, use that as, like, motivation to, like, go do that. Like, use that, literally use that demotivation to think as, like, as an opportunity to think, yo, let me go, like, do that. Become, like, literally use the, when you're tired and, like, don't feel like doing something, use that as an opportunity to go do that thing. Th say to yourself when whenever you don't feel like doing something like productive or whatever whatever is going on think this is my opportunity to do the work especially because i don't feel like it the thing is this needs to be within your reach you need to destroy your ego you're seeing all these guys better than you and you're saying you don't want to go do that grueling workout because it's too hard, but you still need to stay within your reach. Just go do some exercise, and that's some progress right there. That's, like, some discipline, like, that's, like, a level up in your discipline, like, skill. It's a little... Just go and do some exercise, right? That's some progress right there. It's a little bit, but that'll eventually build up into more and more progress that you can start to actually see. It starts to be go up and build up until it's something you can actually see. Even if you look... Even if you look at yourself... If you look at what you used to be, maybe a few years ago, or even a few months ago, you, like, compare yourself to that person. may not be able to do that thing you could do a few years ago, or a year, maybe a year. If you're worse than maybe you were a year ago, that's normal. Like, if you... It's normal to not be able to do the same things that he could. That your past self. This is what keeps so many people in that state of being, like, down bad for so long. They're down here. They're down here right now. But their ego is still up here. So they try and do these things up here when they're down here. And they're not able to do them, so they don't do anything. To develop discipline, do the hard work that is possible right now, especially when you don't feel like it. Now you have the baseline down. 
there's something that can really start to motivate you to do the hard work. You should start to develop sort of an aggression towards the part of your brain that falls deep into that rabbit hole of dopamine. You should start to get pretty, like, mad that you're down bad and demotivated. It creates a level of, like, motivation to get up and do something about your life. How about you develop in such an urge? How do you go about developing such an urge? You first have to recognize the life you have. And then look at the life you could have. Maybe right now you're not social. You're pretty down bad. You just played four hours of video games before this. Think about the life you could have if you really tried. If you really try and work towards this, you can achieve your goals. And tell your brain that it's possible. It's possible to become that master I want to be. You just have to do something about it. You need to sort of be mad and annoyed at yourself for being such an idiot. You need to be mad and aggressive towards yourself. I, I don't mean like, don't like freaking, I don't know, throw a rock at your head. Don't be like, um, don't like hurt yourself or whatever. Don't be like so mad like at yourself that you like being... But, like, not to the point where you think, oh, I'm such a failure, and get all depressed and shit. But enough where you're annoyed at yourself, so you go and, like, do something about it. Enough where you're, an like, actually, like, pretty, like, aggressive and annoyed that you're like, dude, I could, ha I could be like that, bro, what am I doing? And so you're so, like, like, annoyed that you, like, actually, like, Go and do something about it. I learned most of the information in this next chapter here from Andrew, Huber Andrew Huberman. He's a good influencer, and I recommend you go check him out. Most people don't like hard work. Because hard work is hard, obviously. Most people work hard to achieve an end goal. Most people work hard to achieve a reward. Or a spike in dopamine. Now, dopamine relates to our time system. And our perception, like, the way we, like, think, the way we percept time. So when we work hard just to get the reward afterwards, this makes the hard work even harder and less enjoyable and seem like it's taking longer. The more the reward after will be, the less pleasure you have while doing the activity. Hold on. My chair is, like, being weird. Don't, uh... <laughs> bro. Oh, man. It was, like, falling over or something. Like, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. So, the larger the war reward is at the end, the, like, how do I say this? The more, yeah, so the more, where was I, bro? Bro, this chair just, like, messed me up so hard, bro. That's some, like, sabotage shit, bro. Oh, man, bro. Uh... Bro, cat. Oh my god. So I'm taking a shit right now. So, it, this is some like complicated like shit. Like, it's like sciencey like stuff, but I'm gonna kind of teach it to you here and like break it down. How? Jesus, bro. There's some, some sabotaging right now going on. <laughs> oh man. God. This is some complicated stuff right here. That I'm gonna break down for you and teach you in a simpler way. So, um, a peak in dopamine causes a lower, like, baseline or default in dopamine outputs. You aren't doing the activity because you enjoyed it, you're doing it to get that reward afterwards, and you want to have that dopamine afterwards. 
so you're just doing the work right now because you have to or to get that reward but dopamine actually controls a lot of things in our body not just like pleasure so this includes our perception of time the larger the reward is at the end the more packed it is into the end so the dopamine like pretend there's like a graph here the the dopamine is all at the end over here and then the activity is here so this is the reward this is the activity so there's very low dopamine here and then there's a big spike here but when you actually enjoy that activity like when the reward is less important it's like less here but that like there's still a spike but there's less and then it's kind of more spread out through the activity so it's actually like you get more dopamine during the activity so you enjoy the activity more the what this is called is you might have heard this in this thing in school called growth mindset growth mindset is actually like really important growth mindset creates a lot more success and results and like performance because you're focused on the effort itself and not you're not focused on the reward you're focused on the effort itself how do you develop growth mindset by telling yourself this feels great and this is pleasurable even though even though it might be hard and painful right now dopamine can generate energy and increases focus so if you get dopamine released during the activity this will This is really important, so I hope you're following along. If you're just watching this for entertainment, then that's on you. That's your fault. You should be... If you're watching this video just for entertainment, leave, because this is not for you. This is for people who actually want to improve their lives and do something about it. When you enjoy the activity... This actually increases your focus. This increases your, this amplifies like the hard endeavors. This make them. This makes them so much more like so much easier and so much like not easier, but so much like you do them so much better because the dopamine like you know controls your focus and like your focus levels, your energy levels. So when you're kind of when you enjoy the activity, they, like your focus increases, your your energy increases. <sighs> There's an insane way to level up your growth mindset skill. This is if you decrease the amount of like if you decrease the amount of dopamine release leading up to the activity so it's leading up to the activity if you like cut out most of the dopamine leading up to that activity then this like amplifies them those hard endeavors subjectively start to attach feelings of attach feelings of eff effort not to pursuing things that are normally pleasurable but you have to tell yourself the effort part is the good part i know it's painful right now but i'm focused and i'm going to start to access the reward you'll start to get the rewards or the dopamine because like you start to get the reward and the dopamine releases during the effort if you repeat this over and over and over in the hardest moments tell yourself you're doing it because you love it you are doing it by choice it may sound like lying to yourself but this is in the context of a truth 
this truth is that you want it to be more enjoyable and you want to enjoy the hard work and be motivated to do so. Now I want to quickly talk about something before I leave you. I've talked about most of the things that are very important for becoming a lot more motivated. Remember, re keep re I keep reminding you, keep remembering to take notes because that is like the best way. If you take notes during important videos, like educational videos, you get to see like without you don't have to watch this. 30 minute long video again because you already have it down like what you you have it down already like on paper or on your phone what you what you need to do just quickly summarize and then it's so easy to just do those things so much easier instead of watching the video again because you just remember it's so so much it's so valuable so this is most of the things you need, but there's something I want to quickly talk about before I leave you. This final topic that we are going to go over is something that will get rid of fairly a fairly large mental block that you have in your head. You may have in your head. This mental block can be detrimental to your journey. This is when you see yourself failing. You visualize without even knowing it that you're gonna fail. You believe you believe you can't do it, so you don't do it. You don't, you aren't able to do it. You don't do the challenge. So how do we overcome this? By doing the exact opposite. Visualize yourself hitting these goals. Visualize yourself succeeding. So how do you implement this day to day? Every morning in your morning ritual for about a minute or so, visualize yourself hitting all of your goals. Visualize all of the effort that you put into achieve that goal. Think of all the things that went into hitting that goal. Think of the person you had to be to achieve that goal. Think of all of the effort that in the just all the stuff that you had to do to achieve that goal. Every time you do this, you start to become more and more like that person. And you are so much more likely to hit these goals, so much more likely to be motivated to do them, motivated to do the hard work to achieve those goals. Now that was long term. That's long term visualization. Long term visualization. I can't talk right now. Oh, my God. Right. This dude. But now we're going to talk about short term visualization. There's these there's two types, long term and short term. We just talked about long term. Now I'm going to talk about short term. If something's coming up where you hope you succeed, like you hope to succeed, just visualize yourself succeeding. Think, visualize yourself winning, whatever it is, but stay in the realms of possibility. Don't imagine that you'll be able to fly up into space tomorrow or something. I don't know, man. But visualize yourself succeeding, visualize yourself hitting all your goals. And you'll start to find much more success. You'll start to overcome this but this roadblock. Trying to stop you from trying, like, just, just trying to stop you from trying to achieve your goals. This roadblock is your enemy. But visualization can really start to diminish it. All of this information i put just put into your head is extremely valuable if you actually sat down and focused in this video didn't distract yourself with a bunch of with a bunch of you didn't distract yourself constantly and you really put your full attention into this i believe you you will achieve your goals and be much more motivated to put in the hard work to achieve these goals and if I can do it, so can you. I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out, brother.